Right, legends, welcome back to Z Channel from Paradise in Okunawi Waku Waku Wiki, Okinawa in Japan. Got Disco here, the old man, that's my father, look at him, living the old dream. But just want to do a quick little uh, Bitcoin price update, guys. Obviously, I've been away for a bit, but the line of the sand, guys, is still 61,100. We actually did dip below it for probably about one day, about one day or two days. We didn't get a daily close, I don't think, but we're looking for basically a daily, a weekly would be obviously the, a very significant level, but I'd say a daily close below 61,100, and I think that that would be the calling shot for lower prices. Right now, we've come down, we bounce back through it, deviation of that level. I, haven't got, I can't do the videos on my charts right now, Legends. I'm just with this old... There we go, look. <laughs> I'm just with this dude. Um... So basically, yeah, 61 one's still the level of sound. I can't put the charts up right now, but that's really the key level, guys. My trading bot, MD, the MDX trading bot, did get long from 60, so it's in profit right now. If you want to get the trading bot, guys, go to Bing X. Obviously, I've said this a million times, but link in the description, Bing X. Use my referral. You need to use my referral link to get the, the trading bot so I can monetize it. But what do you think, Disco, about the market right now? What's going on in your head? Well, I must admit I was... Um I'm surprised how sort of sideways it is at the moment, and uh, you know, obviously, I'm using your uh, your bot, and that's sort of keeping me keeping me clean, as it were. But overall, I mean, I'm waiting for this like this big moon to happen, as we all are, <laughs> and it's, I'm just saying, oh, when's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? And yeah. uh, just hope, I suppose, it will, and I think it will happen. It's just a matter of matter of time. But as you always say, Max, you know what the trend might be, but you can never fix the timing. So I'm with you on yeah, that. Yeah, I say it's easier to predict the direction than the, the velocity and also uh, yeah so it's like uh yeah the real quote is what i say is um it's easier to predict what than when yeah. the when is the hard part but well, i would the, say if i was gonna predict it what are you gonna say i was gonna say oh, that one me. way or another we are gonna be at 100k in 2024 and i think yeah, as long I think as everyone good, sticks yeah. with that then uh, there's absolutely no worries at all I mean, the old marketplace has crashed a lot, but it's come back over the last couple of days, and I'm quite heavy into fuels. But uh, I think uh, long run, you just gotta, you know, um, just gotta hold on, guys, because um, was, it's gonna happen. Just gonna take a bit of time. My arm is burning. This Thanks. is a, this is a good workout right now. If I was gonna, if I was to predict this uh, when we get the breakout, it's probably either we're gonna drop down to about 52. 48 or 42, so we have one more big drop down. If we lose 61.1, that will probably take another month. Yep. That could be one scenario dipping down, and then we have the spring to, to really moonship, moonship up. Or we're going to break out in the next week, and it's going to be to the upside if we hold this level. So if we just continually hold, we've got one more week, get above the last high. Working that arm out right now, and the gym is... <laughs> 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 and then I think it's about one week, two weeks. But it looks quite good. We did deviate back above it, so it's the, the, this is the next, this is the next trade. If we come down to 61.1, you buy it now. We broke through it. You look to buy 61.1. That's a trade because if we hold that, then we have a higher low, and then it's the spring for this being actually that last drop we have was the bottom. And then you have if we break 61.1, you lose that trade, stop loss, and you flush down and you buy 52. But it, all right now it is if it, if it drops down below, it's by the le the levels of support for the bounce trades. Don't look to short. Just look for the bounce trades longs because you might then catch the next bottom. And then if we get above the prior high. Hold above that, then you look for a retest of that and then buy. The, the people on my channel will understand that, hopefully, because they're yeah. trading. And what is interesting being in Japan is that the, the Japanese are super bullish on the whole of this idea of, uh, of you know, cryptocurrencies. And, yeah, they love uh, it. Bitcoin, they absolutely love it. And uh, just, just, it makes me just so... The West is a joke. I mean, I can't believe how ridiculous, you know, the Fed and the, and the Americans are behaving over all this. I mean, they really need to get it. And, uh, and it, they've and, got it now because yeah. they've got the money in, but, you in know, the right as end. As Max right always end. says, you know, the news isn't really affecting all this. It's only the price action that really matters. And uh, guys, just hold steady because it's all going to go well. It really is going to go yeah, well. Well, the news is just Absolutely. it's just an agenda from someone. But the thing is, yeah, this price is action. <laughs> the, the the price action is the reality of the situation. There's no reality gap between price action and the news. Like the news, someone can find it good, someone can find it bad. It's subjective. Also, you don't know any quantifiable evidence of who bought, who sold. You might as well look at the price, look at the level. Look at the patterns, look at the support resistance, and then go by that objective analysis by making your decisions or what you do. But you guys already know my trading strategy. It's four things. My arm is killing me, so I'm gonna go. But guys, 61.1 is the line in the sand. If you hold it, if you come down to it now, to it's 64, if you come down to it, you buy it with your eyes closed for a bounce trade. Stop loss below it. 
If you then break it, you lose that trade, you flush down to 52 very likely, then you buy 52, that'd be another bounce trade, then it's 48, then 42. You just play the bounce trades all the way down, stop loss below it, mitigate, good risk to reward. Then you get the bounce trades back up, then you could potentially catch the bottom, which gets you into the good trade. And then if we go to 61.1 and find support, you already got long, you break the prior high, that's confirmation, and then we could go even higher. And then if we do get above the high, I think it's 100K within a month. But guys, always God zoom damn. out, just zoom out, because you remember a year ago, just remember a year ago, like 40, 38, 40, here we are at 52 if it was the low, and then we're actually 64 right now. So, I mean, surely we're all happy. This is happy Yeah, time, well, so. a lot of people are in profit. The more people yeah, that get in profit, the better. Yeah, yeah. But we're all converted now, so yeah. legends. Hit the links, hit the like button, do all your shiz a bit as my arm's killing me, and then, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, get Bing X, get my trading bot on Bing X, the link's below. You gotta use the referral link and buy a bit as well. Check out this legend. And then uh, I'll see you on the flippers. Cheers, legends. Bye-bye.